Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write him and sing him like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to hit up the runner-up on one of the polls I did. So I did a poll with uh, some albums that were, were rated 89 on Metacritic that came out this year. And there was a tie for second place, and I've been kind of waiting to see who would go ahead. And they're right there, and the other one is Sudan Archive. So I guess I have no choice but to hit up both of them. So I'm going with Binker and Moses first, which you've already seen from the thumbnail. And I'm, I'm really interested in this because apparently it's just drums. And it's going to be either soprano or tenor saxophone. And then electronics and loops and treatments on the saxophone. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm going with the album version, a shorter song here. So let's go ahead and hit this up. The uh, title is... I forgot the title. It is After the Machine, something like that. It's about six and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and hit it up. I'm really anxious to hear this. So new kind of... Uh, you know, all we've hit really on the channel is Snarky Puppy for modern jazz. So this would be great. Here we go. Okay. Good drum sound. I like the way that fades in. That's unusual. Hmm. Oh, we also hit up Pharaoh Sanders this year. I forgot about that. Hmm. Drums and sax dropping out. Hmm. Very ambient. nice in the headphones. So Binker is the sax player and Moses is the drummer. Hmm. Almost glitchy, right? Surprising how prominent the electronics are given the name of the duo. Mm. 
Mm. It's really playing high, high on the register. Seems to be less effects on the saxophone. Hmm. There's some kind of gating on the cymbals. Those cymbals close real fast. They're high hats. Sorry about that. The engineering on the drums is incredibly clear. You could hear the resonance on the snare and the toms. It was just, it's just beautiful. Let's see here. Make sure we pause this. No, it, from a recording, I mean, I'm not a recording engineer, but man, in the headphones, those drums were just, I mean, you could hear the resonance and the sustain on everything. You, It's almost like you had your ear right to the skin of the drums. It was beautiful. That's some of the best sounding drum recording I've heard. And then the sax, you know, that reminded me of, of course, a little bit of John Coltrane, a little bit of Pharoah Sanders, a little bit of Albert Eiler, and then a newer person that kind of started in the 90s, I heard some elements of Kenny Garrett. Now who's that? Kenny Garrett's a guy that played with Miles Davis at the end of his career. And what I heard there was some of the use of sustained notes and then short kind of staccato notes and then just hitting one note over and over again, a repetition of one note. That reminded me a lot of Garrett, who's a sax player I like quite a bit. So, yeah, a nice mix of influences here, but then you throw in the electronics and you get something brand new. And the closest thing we've hit on the channel to this is the uh, Floating Points featuring Pharoah Sanders. Uh, but that featured the London Symphony Orchestra, so it wasn't just pure electronics. So this is, yeah, this is uh, something new. And it took me maybe a minute to really get into it. Um, and it, had, it was so interesting the way it faded in. Because you, you, you used to fade outs, but not fade ins very often. Really an awesome song. I'm used to listening to music like this, so it wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, what, what I call, well, kind of avant-garde. I mean, it's a little more, just a little this side, a little more accessible than most 
avant-garde jazz. It wasn't a difficult listen at all. Uh, but it probably would sound avant-garde to a lot of people's ears. Anyway, I, I thought the tone on the sax was great. Um, the sax was treated early on, and then it seemed like they just let the sax play in the last half of that song primarily. Uh, maybe treated a little more at the end there. And the, But I liked the way everything dropped in and dropped out. So you had uh, the drum and sax uh, early on, and then that dropped out, and you got the electronics, but then when the drums and sax came in, then the electronics dropped out. And I liked all of that. The glitchiness, that was different. I'm not used to hearing that in jazz. So that was a, a very interesting element. So what am I going to give this? I give this an A. Musicianship, A+. plus. I mean, these guys are great musicians. So I really loved it. Uh, thank you guys for voting on this. Uh, like I say, I pulled it off Metacritic, threw it up on the poll to see what you guys would think and you told me you wanted to hear it. So that's great. If you like what we're doing here, a senior reacting to the new music instead of the usual model of a young person listening to classic rock, uh, go ahead and hit that like or subscribe button. As we say here in Mexico, Buen Dia and Feliz Dia de los Muertos.